Oh, I've opened the purse. I've opened it and you will not believe what's inside. But before I open it, let's uh, recap on the day I found this purse full and it's full of treasure. It really is. Oh my God, I found a purse, a purse. And it's a big, there's a big bulge in the middle. It's a purse. I don't know how old it is. It looks a bit like a child's purse. Oh, it's pretty crusty. Oh, yeah, there's a... There's definitely a bulge in there. Now, whether it's just full of mud or there's some gold coins in there. Oh, yeah. What's inside the purse? What do you think? What do you think's inside there? There's a definite bulge right there. Right, I'm not going to open it now. I'm going to tempt you as to what you think's inside the purse. So what do you think's inside the purse then? Is it going to be full of gold coins? It looks a bit of a child's type purse, so I'd imagine it's not going to be full of gold coins personally, but you never know. It might be, there might be some uh, personal effects in there. <laughs> um, yeah. Epic. Right, this is it. The moment we open the purse. I've got it here with me. Yeah, I'm back out on the fields. Not finding much at the moment. Ground's a bit dry. We haven't had any rain for a while. And I'm getting a bit tired from metal detecting like for the past six or seven days on the trot. <laughs> I feel like giving up and going down the pub now. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna we're gonna open the purse and we're gonna see what's inside. I've had comments um, about the uh, the finding of the purse yesterday, and they reckon um, it's probably more likely a toy or um, a Tesco's club card, which I, I very much doubt because the, they reckon the design of the purse dates to around about the 1950s, 60s. So hopefully it's some sixpences that somebody has given their young child, because it's sort of a child's purse, um, so that um, they can spend some money on some, I don't know, attractions. I do know that field has been used for sort of like village fates and things. So it's possible they might have been using it way back. So let's see what's inside the purse. There it is. Put that in the bag so it kept it, kept it moist. If I was to leave this outside, it would like crumble, wouldn't it? So let's put that trusty old nail on there. So I can definitely feel a lump in there. It's hard. Um, a lump, hard lump there. You can definitely see where it's, where it's probably where the ground was on this side and it's compressed it look. And you can see the outline of a shape. Uh, right. I can see coinage! I can see coinage! I think. Is that coinage? Can you see that in there? It looks like, looks like coins. Ooh. Coins. Right. Uh, oh, there's definitely, we've definitely got coinage. Let's see what coins they are. They're gonna come out. Ah, there's one coin, look. We got a ship half penny. 19. Oh, look at the condition of it. It's really good. <laughs> Saying it's been inside something. 19, so what did someone say 1950s or 60s? Yeah, they weren't far off, look, 1965, right in the middle. 
right in the middle. That's Elizabeth II. So we've got treasure inside the purse. Oh, what's the other coin? I can see, I can see a couple of coins in there. Let's, let's get the big one. Let's get the big one out. Oh, it's not that big. We got another ship half penny. 1966. Well, that person that said six fifties to sixties was bang on. Yeah, buy yourself a pint down the pub. <laughs> Yeah, Elizabeth II. Yeah, mint condition. Right. Now the other coin's a bit thick. I think it could be a threepence. Come on. Yeah, it's a threepence. Nineteen forty-two. Ah. Yeah, well, this probably been in circulation for a while. So the oldest, the youngest coin in there is probably when it was dropped. So yeah, probably getting on for the 60s. Look, lovely condition. Right. Let's see what else is in there. It's definitely a bulge. What's that? Uh, what's that funny lump? I think it's a rubber. <laughs> I think it's a rubber. Is it? Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's a rubber for rubbing out pencil, um, you know, writing on paperwork. So, yeah. Look at it. It's crumbling. It's been in there for a long time. Is that it? No notes? No, no notes. Just a few pence. I was hoping for some silver. But it doesn't look like it. So yeah, nice design. <laughs> so I was right. There was coinage in there. I've cleaned the purse up a bit, so if you recognise this design, I'm, I'm talking to sort of local people now, um, and it's got a name in there, can you read that? It looks like four, fourteen, four, fourteen, uh, F O R E I G N, foreign. Foreign? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what it says. Reading was not my forte at school. So yeah, if you recognise this purse, I, I'm guessing you're going to be about 55, 56, 57 years old by now. <laughs> A little bit older than me. So if you recognise this design, you'll be, I'll, I'll be amazed if you do. Um, you can come and collect it from me. I've cleaned up the coins. Yeah, they're in pretty good condition. They'll clean up quite nice, I'd imagine. Ship half penny, 1966 was probably round about the year it was dropped. So yeah, that one that, that one's hardly corroded at all. So a nice little find, and uh, I'm going to hopefully get back to metal detection and find something soon.